And, and, then, pretty and, much then the, and then the players can lap it out and see like, what the difference is themselves. The the name of the game in this patch is basically less landing lag. Like, yeah. For some reason, I don't know why. A, lo a lot of the moves seem to have gone less landing lag, especially yeah. at the ledge. Like I talked about how like Shulk's forward at the ledge has less time for him to grab the ledge afterwards. So. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you got a little bit of uh, Nico, or Nico, uh, Shulk warm up after with that set with Mark. So yeah. let's see how it goes down, but of course it's a different beast. All together, man, Nico Force. In my opinion, the best Shulk out there. So thus far, we'll see how I can do it, Genesis 6. But what matters here is we're here at Hollywood Action Tuesdays. And so far, last week we saw Charlie do the same thing to Nico here, bring up at high percents, keeping him very close against Shulk. Nico, though, not afraid to fight uh, Sheik as he has been gone in many sets with K9 back and forth over Fire Nights. Mm -hmm. Oh, down throw the board tilt and Buster Art that does so much damage there. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, Charlie tried to go for a follow up, but the Nair just is able to outrange him. Mm -hmm. He needs to put himself in that position where either he can outbox him in the frame data or um, just navigate around it and get a follow up afterwards yeah. instead. Charlie definitely brought Nico out to this percent, but if Nico can definitely clutch it out there, hold on true. There's the uh, the get-up option from Charlie there. He read that for sure. Ooh, putting that pressure on the shield. One too many down tilts. Gonna get caught right out of uh, Nico's out of shield Ooh. option. And gonna get caught by down tilt support. Or excuse me, out there. Down throw. I like that Nico went for the up smash. I'm sorry, the up B immediately he said to the charm right off the bounce back in this game. Oh, that back air almost did it. He's got smash art on. What's the read here for Nico? I like it. Spaces himself, but doesn't find the grab. Yeah. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You think just run underneath him and get that up to him instead. Really quick option. Try to beat out Nico in his uh, pushing buttons, and it worked out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tries to get around that pressure. Gonna get caught by an air slash that time around. He's able to make it back, though. Smash! Caught by that air. Find some spacing here. He's got 44% to his name. Charlie's still with three stocks here. Yeah, I like these little fade backs from uh, Charlie just staying right outside of the range of Nico and be able to counter with a punish himself. Right now, looking at uh, trying to take out the next stock before losing his. This is Sheik. He's kind of light. Point oh. taken. She's going to survive that. <laughs> probably, not one, probably not one more of those, though. Woo! Oh, nice. Nico sending everything in just to get Charlie to let go of the shield and probably get hit. Possibly looking for a shield poke. There's a smash hard if you can get the, get the right option read, but he doesn't find the grab. Oh, the up tilt. Try to punish that. That's going to be the back throw. Smash art. That's going to be able to take it out. Couple of here. It gets the needles. Down tilt into neutral. Yet again, classic Sheik stuff here. Still working out. Uh, Probably tried to elicit a pressure from an edge guard or something. Didn't quite work out there. Still going to be able to make it back. See what the option is from Nico. Oh yeah, just jumps out of there and just dips with that bouncing fish. Able to make it back to center stage, return to neutral, oh, down tilt to up smash. The diamond cutter is still true. Right, got this forward for zone. Yeah, just uh, catch that air dodge away and just uh, follow up afterwards. And yep, yeah, just uh, stop the game for a little bit. Oh, actually, never mind. Still trying to play Nico in the shield art, just knowing that uh, he can still outspeed him in that uh, the, one thing, the one thing to know about Charlie, he's playing shit with little smash worship. And if they're down to top smash. Yeah, one more time. We got these fairs though. Nico knows when it's like to go against Smash Force Sheets now. Wasn't a fan of it there. He lands down with the side B. Of course, Nico had different tools back then. He has new tools now. So what he can do is possibly make a comeback. There's a Nair. Good option from Charlie. Looking to get the, the, the tech chase read. Yeah, didn't quite find it. He's still going to recover just fine. Up there. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Stuck in hits on here. Goes for the shield arc just in the nick of time. Yep. They didn't patch that up, so that probably means that it's meant to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and the wow. up smash. Yeah, the side horse hitbox of the up smash. That will be able to do it, too. Two stocks for Charlie. Like you said, he was looking to take up the stock right before Newton gets the opportunity here. Right, yeah, first uh, going back to Pokemon Stadium. I feel like... Most people just uh, want to go to the stage a lot. Pretty safe, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I remember in Melee, people just wished Pokemon Stadium didn't have transformation. Yeah. And now we have a game where it does. Mm -hmm. I still think it's uh, important to know uh, like what your opponent is thinking when you go to the fans in, but yeah. uh, regardless, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what goes for Nico, especially in D, because he starts off pretty strong here, 18%. Yep, able to call out that recovery option from Charlie. He's trying to space around him, but he's right outside of the range of those forwarders. You know that he just wants to 
beat him in the range. That way, he can try and get those hits in. Otherwise, uh, Charlie's going to be able to beat him out most of the time. Going for it, Toads. Nice. Moving in with neutral air, but Nico goes a little bit deep to make the recovery. Charlie reading on the landing option from the ledge. And double spot time for Nico. I like that he's trying to respect how Charlie's been coming a lot with these aerials. Landing up air into up air into the forward air. Wow. Creative stuff coming from Charlie. Look at this movement that we're seeing from Charlie, man. He's just not real relentless going with all these peak options. So the first hit of up being that center, the second hit might hit. Like, he's got Smash Hard, it's about to run out though, so he's gonna be fine. Dash attack in, actually, this time around. Just catch that landing. Empty hop from Nico there. That was a vision uh, from Nico, but that's actually gonna get grabbed right there. What's the option gonna be? Probably not gonna try to mold the I like it. Yeah, okay. I, I respect it. Goes for the a shield, but that bounty fish coming in, and Nico switched to the wrong one out of the nick of time. Yeah, he tried to get both out, but uh, I guess he just couldn't get the second hit in, so he just I respect that he wanted to jump, jump art just so he can make it back on the stage from a little bit deeper. There's the upbeat, the equalizer for Nico there, he even stocks, even percents. Doesn't waste time to put Charlie back into the, uh, the same uh, level. A whole 1% from that needle. That's uh, going to do a lot later on in the set. <laughs> It'll come back to the awesome. <laughs> Nice. Back throw into double forward air. Get a little bit of extra damage there. Nice. Get the extra air. It goes for the empty hop read, possibly looking to see what Charlie's going to do at the ledge. Yeah. Both play the one thing I'm noticing about Charlie and Nico, though, is they both like to read each other from the ledge. Look at the options there. That's the usually optimal play. Read your opponent's ledge options. Wow, able to catch punish. that directional air dodge with that Nair. Putting on a lot of damage onto Charlie so far. He tried to push him on his shield, but that's not a block string. Gonna be able to get out of there. With the grab. We have to Nico. He's got a solid lead against Charlie, 100%. Double spot dodge, not able to find the roll that Charlie might have been going for. I know a lot of Smash 4 Sheiks likes to go for a roll as a cross up option. Yep. Oh! He chased him down to the other ledge. He got the home run. Forward tilt. Yeah, you know what that kind of reminds me of? I, I, there's a play in melee that someone did where they used the, the super wave dash from Samus. To, oh, okay. To, yeah, to yeah, make yeah. it all the way to the other side and follow up afterwards. It's kind of like what that speed art reminds me of, uh, being able to go all the way to the other side and still get a follow up before they even drift towards the towards the ledge. Look at this! Look at this moving from the platform for Nico, man. He's looking for where Charlie's gonna land afterwards. He's firing off all cylinders here. It doesn't like how game one has been going. It doesn't even like how this game one has been going against uh, Sheik. Yep. Still racking up the percent. <gasps> that was close. That was close. Yeah. I respect him because he wanted to really go for the up double hit from up B. But Charlie was not going to hit by it. Gets a forward air. Charlie's still being hang on the ledge a little bit too long. Charlie's up to 30 here. Yeah, I mean, he's still got to catch up on a whole other stock too. And the way yeah. Nico's been playing, he's probably going to be able to get that one straight hit he needs. That's going to be the sweet spot from the other special Nico still surviving, switching off the shield art just for a little bit. Okay. Going to be still catches them with that fair again, just boxing them out. Yeah, it looks like this time Nico's doing a good job of uh, getting around Charlie's uh, pressure at the ledge. Yeah. This time he's been able to elicit it. And that was the first time I've seen a ledge trump. That's mm -hmm. a back throw. That's Nico getting that second game there. Yeah. Nico, I mean, that's what we talk about, right? The ledge, the ledge reads from both of these players. They've been super keen to read each other out and see how that goes. Alrighty. Both of these players don't look happy. I, I know it's just because they're really focused, <laughs> yeah. but they just don't look happy. <laughs> I, I agree with you, man. They, they, they are not talking, dude. Yeah. All right, Quiet, there we go. focus on the game. Mm -hmm. All right, here's, uh, here's the Fox. Kind of in each other's minds, not gonna lie. Not, not in the sense where they're reading each other, obviously they're trying to. But in their own minds, trying to see what they're gonna do to each other's next games. Because game three is always super crucial. One player will move on to the next game for the possible set. Charlie moving on to Fox, doesn't feel the shield against Shulk. Of course, Nico had a lot of years fighting K9. Alright, that's the first up air. Tried to get a second one afterwards, but I like that. Nico drifted just a little bit to the left, just so that he couldn't get that follow up on the platform. Come on, empty hops. Oh, nice. That's in the back of there. Nico looking for the ledge option against Charlie. It's the grab after the dare. No back air coming out. Let's get the air slash. I like it too, because he might have been sensing that option for a possible spot dodge from Charlie. I can't read that. More fair. Hold Clipping him with a. Oh my god, he's trying to go real deep for that. Wasn't able to find anything. Big opportunity for Charlie, but no, that 
of Nair's gonna oh, box him out and the dare. Poking through the ledge. Yeah. Looked like a really strong option. And it looks like Anigo's really used to trying to edge guard Fox because that was a lot of great <laughs> ideas there that just came to fruition. Able to get that stock off. Okay, good dice action from Charlie. Looking for an opportunity moving against Nico. Looking for the end line too. He finds a pick opportunity here, but not able to get too much of it yet. Oh, trying to pressure oh. with those empty hops, but Nico's very smart, just stays around it. Maybe try to get him to hold shield long enough that maybe it could shield poke underneath, but mm -hmm. didn't quite find it there, unfortunately. Double move, double move chair there, gets Charlie off on the platform, brings him to the left side of the stage all around the town. Yeah, pulls out that smash art. Uh, Fox is very light. <laughs> yeah, that up was so close to killing, but Smash Heart gonna run after Nico. Yeah. Still got him at the ledge, though. And the fourth time, really? That works? Okay. Uh, Charlie didn't press the button early enough, so that'll work out for Nico. Nico still having three stocks. Charlie stuck on two. That shield art's gonna make it a little bit harder for Charlie just for a little bit of time there, but the shield art not for Nico. I'm mean, just from the way that I'm watching this, it feels like uh, Charlie may feel more comfortable with Sheik in that he understands how to pressure around uh, Nico's options. Yeah. With uh, Fox, it looks like he's trying to do the same thing, elicit pressure from the movement, but it's not quite coming as well as it did with the Sheik. Yeah. Partly because of the, the different hit uh, frame data and hitboxes that Sheik had to present instead. Nico looking for the edge guard here. Like it, rolls a little bit away, just trying to read the option from Charlie, but Charlie gets the grab here. Opportunity for Charlie here at the ledge. Hopefully he can probably take a stock, but Nico's still holding on to the shield here. And able to use the jump eye and jumps out of shield into the platform for safe passage. There's strong Nair. Puts him off stage. Doesn't even need to use the up B. Get up attack. Oh, good. Empty hop from Charlie. Able to phase him out there and get the grab. Shine oh, spike. and the shine spike. And that'll do it. Mm -hmm. Sends him at a really bad angle, so that'll be able to work just fine. Couple empty hops from Nico there. Trying to read what Charlie might be going for at the ledge. Fade away from Charlie, I like it, comes back, looking to see what Nico's gonna do with the spacing. Oh, trying to poke him again. Didn't quite work out this time around, but still so much pressure from that speed art. Put and the one range more time. too, man, that back air was gonna be able to pass the distance. Yeah. Air dodge through, just gonna be able to make it back. Dash back into the air, Charlie getting some momentum here, almost gets the up for Nico, switching out the shield art just a little, a little longer. Jab comes out, forces it. Okay, <laughs> I guess with shield art forces them to trip or something. Yeah, I mean he, he does become the heaviest character in the game. Four throw, I like it. So far, Nico just trying to run around in the loser oh, here. No, no, yeah. Oh no no, where's the throw? Yeah. Oh, and then out smash gets Nico off from the ledge. Pretty much an even game right now. Okay, nice. Gets the cost of champ combo. No up air though. Charges go for two up tilts. You know the champ combo is dash attack up tilt. Tilt up air, yeah. Yeah, okay. Doesn't get the full, that's what I'm he doesn't get the full <laughs> was, combo, just gets two okay, up tilts. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I, I, I thought I heard you say he gets the classic champ combo, and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't get the classic champ combo, just goes for two up tilts. Okay. And still, still vulnerable just about every game, I think. I don't know if it was uh, there in Brawl, I just don't remember. So, uh, Laser comes in, just, try, just a little bit of extra damage from that Buster oh, Wow, in the up air, okay. So still close, not enough to but do it. You enough. saw Charlie got up. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I got that one. That yeah. red flash is so useless sometimes. <laughs> it is. It, it's yeah, it's so deceiving. Yeah, I really like that idea, though. Just ground his side B, follow up into up air. That was really smart. Nico was not ready for that one, too. Well, air slash puts him on the other side. Back in neutral, though. Air to air. Beats him out. Oh, able to air dodge and away from the shine. But Charlie reads the landing on the way back. Man, what happened? That was so he had crazy. Enough, All of a sudden. Had, he literally had enough time to go off stage, shine, come back to stage, read the air dodge, and then go for an up smash. Yeah, good stuff to Charlie. Yeah, if you want to get hit by my, by my shine, man, get hit by my up smash. Charlie covering all bases there. Alrighty, we got potentially one more game if Charlie can keep his head together. Otherwise, uh, man, Nico, man, Nico looks really tired. <laughs> I yeah. just can't get over that. Alrighty, here we go though. Okay. Hopefully, Nico definitely trying to understand Charlie how he is. Charlie up into set point. 
down throw. Also the forward air. Might have been a misinput. I don't know which one I'm going for a back air. Yeah, sometimes on that six sensitivity, sometimes it doesn't read the full turnaround. Like, it will turn you around, but you don't get the... Oh, that's a Down air? No. Oh, and he gets it. So much momentum for Charlie this net game, but Nico taking advantage of the fact that he was a little bit too low. Yeah, that was really weird. I'm not sure, sure why he ended up going in that, uh, in that positioning, but can't... Uh, can't cry over spill milk. He's gonna have to bring it back around. Tries to go for like forward tilt. Probably falling up into an up smash. But then, you know that pressure into the back air that will work too. Nice coming out from the ledge of Nutria just to cover a little bit from the hitbox there. I like it using the air dodge to get away from the up smash. The second time for Charlie here. Nico not able to get much from the SDA against Charlie. Mm -hmm. I think like uh, Charlie remembered. Uh, oh yeah, I do have up smash out of shield. That's a great option to be able to take the stock too. Oh, oh, clip them out. Talk about it yourself for that, right? Don't cry over spilled milk. It's definitely Charlie's not gonna waste any time crying and just put it into the game plan saying, you know what? I lost the S I got the SE there. Let's go back into the game and see what I can do. Oh, catches that air dodge, really nice stuff, gets that fair. <sighs> that shack almost getting the air dodge, and Nico will really close for a neutral air and able to get away from Charlie's side beam. I wanted to see him go for a couple up tilts at the la at those platforms, that might have been a safe poke. Ooh, I like that forward tilt into immediate grab, just catching him on the defense afterwards after that poke. Nice with the forward throw, Nico losing a little bit of pressure there, but comes back towards the stage. Charlie with a good near to hip check, and he's able to dodge the shine yet again from Nico. And Nico never does shine. Ooh, great up smash. Okay, shield art. Yeah, turns it off, he knows that uh, Charlie's not going to approach, just tries to give himself a little bit of breathing room. Nice, into Smash Art, and Nico's seeing the opportunity here to possibly at the ledge, what? And Charlie was up Smash it again. Yeah, he dashed a little bit too, or he didn't dash enough, rather, and wasn't able to do that. I don't like that. Charlie putting himself in a position where he can Shine Spike, but doesn't have to use any resources other than his jump to make it back. Good tech from Nico, just to make a time to get away from the up Smash. Nico's been dodging a lot from Charlie uh, down there. Nico coming in on all cylinders. You wanted to say to yourself, man, these players look a little tired, but Nico, just because his face is uh, almost expressionless, doesn't mean he's not awake. Yeah, that's two stocks with up smash out of shield, actually, now. Yeah. Now we're bringing it back to a last stock situation. Jack comes out. Oh, trying to find like a tech chaser situation, but uh, he just did neutral get up into, jet, into buttons. That works out. And cut, catch him before he can get anything else. Out here on the neutral there, I like it. Like him, Charlie has a little bit of a lead. Went for a few leads we saw earlier, but Nico comes back immediately. Bust your art, nice, able to poke oh, through the ledge there and get some solid percent. Yeah, if he was forced to use Firefox, that would have been really ugly. Guess that fair out. And Nike it's switching immediately off of Buster Art. We know how that goes. Either you take 70% or I take 70%. Uh, trying to shield grab, but just the, the speed from. <gasps> oh, oh no, no. oh no! Hit. Okay, now Charlie able okay. to get the right angle there, and Nico off the stage. Can he come back? No! He, didn't was use, he used his jump already, and yeah, then he, he got did. sent on the semi spike with that back air. That was pretty That's rough, but Charlie's gonna pick up 3 1 actually. Switching to the Fox paid out dividends for him. Yeah, it really did. Okay, now I'm gonna go. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yeah, you should go. I was gonna yeah. say, you should probably go. Alrighty, guys. So that's it for me. So uh, I'll be at Wednesday Night Fight tomorrow, probably. So I'll.